welcome to NDTV and 100 Piper's Glassware True Legend. What defines a legend? A person who's famous, who's admired, who may have special qualities and abilities. In this, the 75th year of India's independence, we are honoring true legends who've gone well beyond the material markers of success to create an altogether different kind of impact. These are true legends, the champions of good, who've achieved true success and are creating a real legacy. They are the future of young India. Now for the past month, you, our viewers, have been voting to pick your true legend from among our nominees in nine categories. Business innovation, entertainment, environment, governance, music, medicine, social work, sports, and startup tech. And today, our jury will be doing the same. It's a combination of the viewers' vote and the jury deliberations that will determine our true legends. A stellar list of young achievers will be honored in a grander, spectacular ceremony. So without wasting any time, let's first introduce you to our jury. On our true legends jury, Baichung Bhutia, the former India football captain, Taran Chhabra, the founder and CEO of Neemans, the musician, Rabi Shergil, and Kunal Kapoor, the actor and co-founder of the online crowdfunding platform, Keto. Our fifth jury member is Ghazal Alag, co-founder of Mama Art, who joins us virtually and is also scoring virtually. So let's start with a quick comment from each of you on what you expect from this panel, what your expectations of legends are. Why don't you start? What is it that you'd hope to achieve by the end of this entire process? Uh, when you're you know, trying to make a huge impact, change the world, you've got to be creative. So I think creativity, uh, uh, while you know, trying to solve a problem, is a big one for me. All right. Briefly, what are you looking for, Rabi? Um, I'm looking for somebody who's uh, batting for the underdog. All right. Um, Baichu? Uh, definitely looking for somebody who's really made a big impact, but also more than that, influenced a lot of young generation uh, to take up uh, and made a big change in their lives. What's a legend for you? I'm looking for the goodness quotient, right? I'm looking for somebody who's made the maximum environmental impact in bettering the ecosystem around them. Okay. And Gazal, what about you? What, uh, for you, defines a legend? You know, a legend is somebody who's remembered for doing something really good, going above and beyond, and uh, uh, getting appreciated for the same, right? A uh, legend is what stays behind when you're no longer there, and hence um, the, the size of the impact that you're able to create is what defines a true legend. Right, before we get into our jury deliberations, our jury will be scoring the nominees on different evaluation parameters relevant to different categories. Now, these parameters have been formulated by Graham Thornton, who are the process validators for NDTV and 100 Piper's Glassware True Legend. The scoring for each evaluation parameter will be from one to three based on scoring definitions, which have been provided by Graham Thornton. But as we said earlier, it isn't just our jury. You, our viewers, have played an equally critical role in finding India's true legends. The winners in each category will be decided through a combination of what our jury decides. That's 60% of the input and 40% of that decision is in the public's hands. Our website has been open for voting for the last month. Now we are celebrating and honoring champions of good and the evaluation parameters do take that into account as well. So let's start right away on the top, our first category, Startup Tech. So let's begin by asking our two startup gurus. Gazal Alak to you first, why is this category, Startup Tech, the future in your mind of a young India? I think technology just helps you reach so many people at such a larger scale and solve that problem very quickly, which would, would have been very difficult if we did not have the power of technology. Um, so I think startup tech is the future. Taran, let me come to you next. Uh, everybody wants to be uh, a startup entrepreneur. What, to your mind, are the two qualities? Let's say two qualities that are absolutely essential in being successful in this. I think the problem that you're solving, right? Uh, how large is the problem that you're going after? 
how large is the total addressable market that you're looking to solve, and the maximum impact that you could make mm -hmm. in this journey of creating a very, very large startup business is what truly thrills in, in deciding whether a startup entrepreneur is going to be successful or not. Okay. So a quick look then at the nominees in this category, Ayushman Khurana, actor and investor of The Man Company. Deepika Padukone, actor and founder, Live Love Laugh Foundation. Kunal Shah, the founder of Cred. Manas Faloria, the co-founder and CEO of Nagalo. Sanskriti Daule and Aman Srivastava, founders Thinkerbell. And here's a quick note to say that you can head over to our website, ndtv.com slash true legend to read all their profiles. Our jury has had the profiles at hand. So let me toss it over to all of you. Let's start by looking at the key evaluation parameters. So uh, why don't all of you start and discussing amongst yourselves any of these names which you believe uh, are really worthy of this award. Me, uh, I think uh, Aman and Sanskriti, I think they're, they're people that have had a huge impact and uh, it is a very, very important problem that they're solving. Also Deepika, I mean Deepika has really sort of had an impact in the whole mental health space. Uh, ultimately, uh, who's, um, you know, batting for the little guy? I think these two guys, uh, they stand up for me in that sense. Uh, the kind of impact they've made, uh, and I think it's a great innovation as well. Making it so large and creating 33,000 jobs is also a lot of impact that sure. true startup tech is all about. Why don't you guys go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, mark what you want to. So let's move quickly now to our next category, and it's a popular one, sports. In fact, we've got a fantastic sports star with us, Vaichung Bhutia. Let me come to you first. Your perspective on Indian sports people, how being world beaters in not just one or two sports, but in a range of sports, wider and more varied than ever before. That's something which appears to now be happening. Yes, I think it's good to see that a uh, lot of uh, sports person in different uh, fields have come up and done very, very well. And uh, I think in, in the list today as well, in True Legends, we've got uh, some top uh, sports person, five of them. In fact, out of five, two are retired uh, and they've been the icons themselves. So I think it's good to see in India really investing in, in sports and also the culture and the mindset of uh, the mass Indians across, across the country towards sports have really, I think, changed quite a lot. So I think it's good to see that uh, young parents like me and a lot of other people are now looking at their kids to start playing sports and making sports one of the most important curricular activities in any school they go to. So it's looking good. So a quick look now at our highly decorated nominees. Abhinav Bindra, the Olympic gold medalist. He's an Olympic gold medalist winning shooter. Gagan Narang, Olympic bronze medal winning shooter. Neera Chopra, the reigning Olympic champion and world championship silver medalist in javelin. Nikhat Zareen, the world champion boxer. PV Sindhu, two-time Olympic medalist. So let's open this up to the jury now. This one, another tough category, but a fun one. Absolutely, no doubt about that. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to pick one over the other. I think they've all done incredible things uh, with their careers. So I think that's that's going to be a really tough one. In but fact, it's it's like as if you're differentiating between your own kids, right? It's, <laughs> it's who's looking most smart. <laughs> because all of them are true legends in, in itself. What do we expect out of a sports person? I mean, just to play sport to the exclusion of almost all other human activity, so the country um, shines at a world stage, I think is uh, a contribution enough. He's made the country believe in a category that we didn't expect to win. Sure. Right? And looking up to him and seeing him, you know, truly win the, the Olympic has been an inspiration for a lot of people to get into sports. Watching the jury meet of NDTV 100 Piper's Glassware True Legend, the future of Young India. The jury deliberations continue over the next two categories, business, innovation and environment. 
While they discuss the evaluation parameters and do the scoring, let's show you the nominees. For business innovation, Ankit Agarwal, the founder of Poon.co. Gaurav Jalan, the founder and CEO of Mpocket. Nikhil and Nitin Kamath, the co-founders of Zerodha. Roshni Nadir Malhotra, the chairperson of HCL Technologies. Varun Chandran, the founder and CEO of Corporate 360. But uh, why don't we have all of you just have a quick chat now on, uh, on this category of such important leaders. Go ahead. And creating India's first ever bootstrap company to take it up to 4,300 crores is a, is a tremendous innovation in itself. When they were introducing the category, they said 4,000 scholarships. And I think uh, that's huge. App seems to be really battling for the little guy. Uh, those kids really need the money and they are the ones who are um, at the margins of society and so uh, it's hard for me to look past that. So the little guy is, is getting looked after. So that's a tremendous heartwarming story for me. So these two guys are it for me. Well, I think in terms of goodness, uh, I have a little different view so uh, I'm not expert in this but being a female into, into the corporate world is not easy. Though obviously they've come from a big, big uh, corporate world, but I think she's been there. She's worked hard, and uh, you know. Yeah, I, th I think we can all sort of uh, yeah, make our own our sort of votes yeah, and stuff. Yeah. And eventually, yeah. we'll see where it goes. To see all our nominee profiles, do check out our website, ndtv.com slash true legend. While the jury does their thing, let's quickly also show you our five stellar nominees in the environment category. Archana Soring, a climate warrior from Odisha and member of the UN Secretary General's Youth Advisory Group on Climate Change. Dr. Divya Karnad, marine conservationist and scientist. Dr. Meera Anak Uman, researcher in environmental history, anthropology, and ecology. Dr. Nachiket Kelkar, Wildlife Conservation Trust. Jamuna Tudu, forest conservationist and environmentalist from Jharkhand. So, why don't you all just uh, chat a little bit about this, see what interests you, and then go ahead and uh, fill up your tablets with your nominations. I think it, it requires a lot of courage to stand up to the timber mafia. I mean, for somebody to actually have the courage to do that, I think uh, is a very, very special kind of person. She is the forefront. She's in the trenches. Uh, this is where the real battle is happening between the city and uh, the forest. And uh, she's decided which side she's on. Also, the impact what she's made. She's already been in, I think, in, in the board uh, of United Nations Advisory Board, which is a big, big impact. सुनते हैं उन्हें धमाके की जरूरत पड़ती है कमिंग अप नेक्स्ट इज अ वेरी धमाकेदार कैटेगरी व्हिच इज ऑब्वियसली अ कैटेगरी आई हैव अ लॉट ऑफ किनशिप टू व्हिच इज द एंटरटेनमेंट कैटेगरी सो वी आर रिमाइंडिंग यू अगेन दैट यू कैन रीड अबाउट ऑल द गुड वर्क दैट आवर नॉमिनीज हैव बीन डूइंग ऑन आवर साइट ndtv.com/truelegend so Jury members, what do you think of this one? He's uh, raised issues that nobody else who's willing to raise or mm -hmm. has raised. And uh, uh, we've also had a chance to work with him very closely for a campaign that we did uh, where the NGO is providing sanitary pads to underprivileged women and he was very, very supportive. It seems our heart is in the right place and uh, she, uh, um, she packs a punch with her films. I think Thappar was really well received everywhere and it, um, it, it spoke about issues which nobody wants to talk sure. about. So uh, she's, she's right up there. We're talking about entertainment category and I think there's no superstar today that's able to continuously you know, entertain and deliver social messages you know, on and on and on, right? Look at the number of movies he does in a year and every year it's, it's tremendous, right? The success that he's able to generate from his movies and create an impact, right? The kind of movies that he's done. For me, it's a hand down. So the jury meet continues while we take a break. Up next, the governance category. 
let's bring you the nominees. Do take a look at their profiles on our website, ndtv.com slash true legend. While you do that, we'll be right back. So that was the list of nominees in the category of social work. Now, we've just finished judging that category while you were on a break. Now for a very special category. 100 Pipers, be remembered for good. True Legend is a platform where we celebrate all true legends, no matter what the scale of their impact. A true legend could have created an impact within their community, their neighborhood, even their office. Over the past several weeks, you, our viewers, have been sending in stories of people around you, who you think are champions of good, who you think are creating an impact. Now, we've got a lot of entries. Our jury members have gone through that list. And a final winner from amongst your nominations will be honored and celebrated at the grand finale alongside our other true legends. So do watch out for that. So this brings us very neatly to our next category, music. So here are our nominees. Diljit Dosanjh, the singer, actor, film producer and television presenter. Kanika Kapoor, the singer. Neha Kankar, the singer. Palak Mochal, the playback singer. And Sophia Ashram, the rapper. So let's open up this category to our jury now. Maybe I should take it first. <laughs> <laughs> very honorable mentions, I mean, um, this is, um, it doesn't feel right to rank one above the other, but, um, um, you know, 40,000 people annually is, uh, is considerable. Or one of those guys that you don't really have to, uh, in terms of preeminence, popularity, his heart being in the right place. She's made a documentary which made sure that six, almost 600 people uh, were compensated for the wrong that was done to them. And I'm assuming that this is her mindset. I mean, she goes into places and uh, it's, I, I don't know her music very well, but I'm assuming that this is what she does with the music as well, is she tries to make an impact and tries to make a difference. So uh, for me, she was somebody that really sort of stood out as well. Clinic in a really poor state and, uh, you know, region of India yeah. is again, and, uh, and those are significant numbers just coming out of one clinic, 7,000 people. Uh, annually is um, for one person to do it. The other person does this in an entire hospital. So both of these are just, uh, you know, magical um, numbers. I, I don't know which one. It's a, it's hard to pick one. Why did you go ahead and vote if you haven't already? Our jury has decided their votes, along with the public voting results, are sealed and kept with Grant Thornton, our process validators. They will now be open during our grand finale, which is coming very soon on NDTV 24-7. That's where weeks of public voting <laughs> and an intense day of jury deliberations will all come together when the future of young India, our true legends, are honored and celebrated for being the champions of good. We'll see you then. Till then, thanks for being with us through this entire process. We leave you with a look at our last set of nominees in the category of medicine.